Oh hey! Today's episode is sponsored by Factor. Factor delivers fresh, never frozen meals directly to your door. They have a team of gourmet chefs focused on creating high quality meals to help you reach your nutrition goals and feel great. I have personally been using Factor for a while now and my favorite thing about it is there's no prep, no cooking, and no cleanup. You just heat it, eat it, and toss it. Factor makes it possible to have delicious, high quality meals ready in just two minutes. The math has been done and these dietitian approved meals are cheaper than takeout and they're better for you. On today's menu, jalapeno popper burger. They make it super easy to find meals for all tastes with over 35 chef crafted meals catered to your preferences. Whether it's calorie smart, vegan and veggie, protein plus, or more wholesome options, Factor has you covered. Factor is not just lunch and dinner focused. They have over 55 add-ons you can choose from, like quick breakfast items, grab-and-go snacks, cold-pressed juices, and these vitamin pack wellness shots. Thanks again to Factor for sponsoring this video. Head to factor75.com or click the link in the description below and use promo code MattCarriker50 to get 50% off your first Factor box and free wellness shots for life. You'll get two free wellness shots from three available flavors in every order while you're an active subscriber. Again, that's factor75.com and use code MattCarriker50 to get 50% off your first Factor box and free wellness shots. Caveman does it take? And just like that, another trailer load of uh, telephone poles delivered to the most beautiful range and the most epic range in Texas. I mean, it's not yet, but we might as well call it that because we know it's gonna be. All right, I gotta get this unhooked. Mikey is coming with a skid steer. We'll get her unloaded. And we still need more. Ugh. <laughs> this is one way to do it. Not the best way. But it does work. This is on the back end of the property, so it takes the skid steer a long time to get over here. And the backhoe is broken right now. Ugh. So we can't put the uh, the forks on the backhoe. The backhoe's fast. It moves fast out here, but can't use it right now, so we're limited to skid steers and my muscles. Well, I can't do anything else with my muscle, though. Uh, so what do you guys want to talk about? Everything good? So I'll just give you some trailer safety tips. Um, so make sure whenever you're traveling with a trailer, you always have a spare tire. Um, we always carry spare just in case. Finally, geez. You wanna just scoop and go? Avalanche? That way? <laughs> what? Like that way or this way? Where you wanna put them? No, oh yeah, to... you could just push them that way if you want. Okay. That's fine. What do you mean to I took... them that way or pull them out? Either way, I took the rail off that side and I knocked two over and then I couldn't knock anymore. Ha <laughs> ha 
Came back out to the place we went to first um, a few videos ago to get telephone poles because James had a few more for us out here. And I'm thinking after this load we have all we need, uh, probably more than we need. We um, got a bunch of really big ones, we have some little ones, these are like a lot of 10 footers, there's a couple really long ones he has. but. I think we're good. We got a ton of poles. All right, I'm gonna go help him. All right, we got him loaded up. I think I need, well, I know I need a little um, telehandler. That's what that thing is called. It uh, not only works as a forklift, but that thing also extends out so you can like put stuff far. We used it a ton on the abandoned mansion renovation. We rented one. We're gonna need a ton, ton on this whole resort. Probably makes sense to buy one. I just we haven't needed it yet and I haven't wanted to buy it yet. That little one, like we had a much bigger one. The little one's kind of neat. I've never seen anything like that. It's a cute little telehandler. You can see right there is where it telescopes out. And all four wheels can turn. And you can make them all turn the same direction or turn opposite direction. So you make super tight little turns with that thing. Yeah, I kind of like the tiny one. Nice catch. Nailed it. Got it all loaded up, strapped down. James, uh, the guy who just helped me, he <laughs> was in my last video where we were out here getting telephone poles and his wife watched the video of him in it and she said that he was kind of awkward. But I'm here to tell you, James's wife, he was not awkward. I've had some way more awkward people be in my videos. It's hard, like it's hard to go on video in front of, you know, 500,000, a million people. And we are heading back to resort now to unload this. I think we have everything we need. I wanna give you all an update on uh, this road. But first, let me show you what we did with all the rocks we pulled out of it. I know I've showed you this a little bit, but not uh, the whole extent. So let me just go to a drone shot real quick to show you how much of this base we made. This was all boulders that we crushed into small rocks and dirt. It's all just base now. So the way we got to this is we dynamited the ground, which made like car-sized boulders come out. We got a big chisel on an excavator and chopped them all up into this size boulders. And then we throw them in this giant machine right here. It has a hopper on this end. You throw all those boulders in there. It crushes them up and shoots them out of the conveyor belt on the other side, making these big piles of perfect base material, which is great until you realize how expensive it is to rent this machine. And we had it here for two months. It was crazy. Thankfully though, we're done and it's going home today. Finally getting rid of this machine, which is gonna be a big weight off my shoulders, a big weight off my pocketbook. We needed to do this. We had a smaller machine that can do it, but we realized it was gonna take us like six months to churn through all that. So we decided to spend more money up front just to get it done, because that'll save us money in the long run. But man, this freaking beast of a machine did some work. So crazy.
is all just basically just piled because we're gonna have to come back in here and smooth it all out eventually so we didn't need to drag all that out but this is the road we are almost done with all the rough stuff it goes all the way down and almost connects I mean, <laughs> i've never driven this far we can make it. I just, I might pop a tire. Ah, those are not sturdy right there. Yeah. All right. Let's get out and look around. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff like this that clearly looks like it still might just fall off the side. And so we need to like come and get an excavator and just after we're done, like bump all the sides and knock all the loose stuff off. But there will be like a big off-road, you know, drain here. So any rocks that fall should fall into that. And we can just pick them up, move them. There was something really cool that I found somewhere over here. This is it. Water came out of here. You can see that hole goes back up in there and then it ran down here. So all this was open. We didn't slice this. That was open. You can see little formations there. Little bitty crystals forming there. All crystals over here. And then a big one down there at the bottom, which has been broken off by probably a rock falling. But this was a little bitty room underground and we cut it right in half actually there's more see all these little passageways up in here all this red dirt has a red rock this is what i'm finding a bunch of these little like yeah there's little crystalline formations. little formations right there too like we didn't cut that in half this was all a little pocket in the rock this all too it's crazy looking yeah. all this stuff is little little formations and we destroyed it. So that's pretty neat. <laughs> but it still gives me hope that we will find a big cave on this property somewhere because that came out of there, ran down this channel and went here and then it keeps going. Like there's little pockets that water kept draining through. Get the explosives, let's go deeper. The road coming down here, going down that way, nice and flat so that trucks and trailers can go down it and up it but also so that people can go up it and down at the same time because the single little steep road we have would be not possible for that so i want people to be able to just go up and down this without any problems and i spend way too much money on this quarry here making sure that that is not going to be a problem in the future bet you can't fit in there oh i didn't even see that cave right there yeah it for sure comes from there and goes down to that one that we were looking at boost me up yeah, you can see like the crystals where the water's run down there for years and years and years. You can see the giant crack in it where some guy came in with dynamite and blew it up. That's stalagmite that's like this tall and we broke the top off. That's a good view too. That probably took, what is it? It's like a millimeter per thousand years or something. It's something crazy how long those cave formations take to form. And... Uh, yeah, some guy uh, with explosives and backhoes and stuff broke it in half. But thing. now it's open so everybody can see it. And maybe it'll last a little longer. There's also little caves all over here. Look at that. There's a crack that goes way back in there. So water for sure just flowed through all this stuff. All this like red dirt. All these little crystals and rocks in it. Oh, there's a hole. It's opening up. All these fall down on us. Uh, it's just a huge crack with this boulder right above my head. Yeah. No big deal. There's another one here. You can see where water came from way up in here. I'm trying to, oh, that is cool. And here, and went down through all these little passageways, and then here, some rocks have fallen in there. Oh, Mikey's gonna. <laughs> I'm trying. You got it, Dr. Kinnocker. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fall in the hole, though. I just want to see how far it goes down. I just don't want all these rocks to fall on his head. It's okay. Okay. I got a hard head. Yes, you do. Oh, that was a good one. So that one's got a little red on it from the cave. Oh, that's a big one. Okay, yeah, so that just goes forever. All right, who wants to come dig this cave out and see what's down there? This might be our room. I mean, look how far it goes. It goes like two feet. <laughs> Before it's totally full of dirt. Well, Mikey didn't have to have a house anymore. <laughs> Whoever knocks this big rock down wins. It's not very big. Oh! Ah! David wins! Oh, there's one more. You're not the real winner. Whoever knocks that one down is the winner. That one's stuck up there. Good. Oh, you knocked it further back. 
That was a good throw. It just won't go anywhere. Oh! Oh my god! Oh!